let's finish we'll talk about ie ratio but one thing i want to reinforce that the peep exists throughout the whole cycle is not at the end of it it's the whole expiratory cycle the peep exists exists of fire which means the proximal airway pressure during expiration will equal to five or should equal to five or at least five because this may be different when we come and talk about auto peep but this is what the ventilator will provide the proximal airway pressure of five during the whole expiratory phase now ie ratio basically this means inspiratory time to uh, ratio to expiratory time and as we saw that expiration normally is longer than inspiration this is the ratio here that give us the uh, ie ratio although this number doesn't is not always accurate and i'll show you in a second let's calculate it here and i want you to practice as well if you work with ventilators here the actual respiratory rate is 60 so 60 divided by 14 it's almost let's say it's 15 it's almost four second it's four seconds right so inspiratory time plus expiratory time is equal to four seconds if we know inspiratory time then we will know what the expiratory time here if you see later on you will understand it better once we go over volume control but there is a tidal volume of 480 mil that need to be delivered at this rate 42 liter per minute that means 42,000 cc will be delivered in 60 seconds that means 700 in each second that means these 480 will be delivered in probably maybe 0.7 second i hope i'm not wrong but it's an example of then so 0 0.7 plus what will give us four seconds so you can see then expiratory time will equal to 3.3 second so the ratio now it's 0 0.7 to 3.3 3. that's the ie ratio this is the accurate one compared to the one here so that's how you calculate inspiratory expiratory ratio so simply you need to find the inspiratory time find the whole respiratory cycle and then you will find the expiratory time